today dollarity is trading around 76.07 this is the monthly chart of dollar rupee which shows it's at the all time high resistance zone if you see the weekly time frame then also it's at the all time high resistance zone now the big question mark is that uh, whether it will break above the resistance zone and continue up move further or may take resistance here and retrace back towards 75 big figure we need to wait and watch on daily time frame what we see is that there is a small doji candle which shows that some sort of indecisions that is also some of some sort of uh, um, bearish harami but not exactly fitting into the definition of bearish harami and uh, today we see that uh, now it is trying to trade below the yesterday's low at 06 then we need to so if it closes below the low of yesterday then where are the probable support levels the probable support levels is here around 7550 to 7560 zone is the first support in the in such a scenario stop loss will be the recent high above the recent high if we see the hourly chart what we can see is uh, first there is a range shift second we see that it took a resistance at uh, center bend that being the case on hourly time frame first probable support zone is this one which is your 7600 to 76.06 area once it breaks below this particular support zone then what we expect is towards 75.78 once it breaks below this particular support level that means if it successfully sustains below 76.00 then we expect the next immediate support to be 75.75 to 75.80 area this is as per hourly also if we see if we see the line chart what we can observe is that there was a up trend from this particular area that is 74 70 to 74 80 to this level thereafter it retraced back here then again try to challenge the recent swing high that is this area but failed and now coming to this particular level if on hourly chart it is able to close below this particular swing low that means this up move is under a halt what it means this up move from this particular up move it is switching to neutral zone means 
I am not exactly bearish from this particular point, but up move will be halt for some more time till it breaks above the high and again making a higher high, higher low patterns. But if it is breaks below this low and comes down again, tries to make a high but fails to break above this particular high thereby making a lower high and again breaks this particular swing low which is about to make in future. In such a case, I will consider rupee from neutral to bearish momentum on hourly time frame. For this particular time pattern, we need to wait and watch. Then, we will go to the minutes chart pattern. And try to understand what is happening. See, on hourly time frame, I was talking about this particular low. And in next hour, this current hour, it has to close below this particular low to confirm the first signal from neutrality to bearish momentum. Thereafter, it may take a pullback higher and retrace back. And this high should be below the high of this particular immediate swing high, thereby confirming lower high, lower low. And in such a scenario, we may think for lower rupee, lower rupee in the sense, maybe towards first target of 75.75 to 75.80. And subsequently, we need to see how the price moves. One more thing that I would like to see is the dollar index. Dollar index daily. If we see there is a range shift yes what it means that as of now this particular level is sealed as the top unless the price moves above this particular all-time high this swing high in dollar index there are higher chances that dollar index is going to move either sideways or slightly towards the lower side. In such a scenario, what will be the first probable support? First probable support is expected to be here. That is around 94 half. On, this is on daily time frame. Before that, I would like to go to the monthly setup. Monthly setup, also we see that uh, a monthly RSI is trying to face resistance around RSI 60. So, some sort of hesitance to move higher. On weekly time frame, although RSI is above 60, which is around 70 level, but what we see that rejections at the higher levels back to back four weekly charts where the price got rejected on the higher levels that being the case any move below this particular low that is 95.56 will open the door towards 94.50 for that we need to wait and watch on the daily time frame already we have done that one if we see the four hourly chart what it says four hourly is also some sort of sideways move in between this and this it has to break out of this particular range 
for a particular direction. Now the GBP dollar currently trading around 1.3310 area. So let us first go to the monthly chart, how it is behaving. Monthly chart is basically taking support at this level, 1.32, 1.3300 basically. We will see the further weakness only when monthly convincingly closes below 1.3250 to 1.3300. Then and only then it is expected to continue on bearish momentum. On weekly chart, what we see is that initial bullishness in last two weeks price action but we need to wait for further confirmations what it means only the bullishness on the weekly chart will be there once it closes above the center band of bollinger band prior to that two-way volatile movement is expected in this particular currency pair if we see the daily chart, what you see that yesterday it closed above the center band, but now the price action is little bit bearish, trying to make a red candle. What we can expect is that whether the price action is taking support on a daily chart uh, time frame around 1.32. 50 to 1.3300 area or not. If it is able to take support around 1.3250 to 1.3300, this particular range, and thereafter closes above the red candle, suppose I assume that two days is a red candle. And on Monday, if it closes, Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, after taking support in this particular zone, if it is able to take close above the current red candle like this, suppose like this, then, then, uh, the continuation of the bullishness on daily time frame is expected. In such a scenario, the immediate resistance I am expecting around 1.3450 to 1.3500 zone. This particular zone I am expecting resistance if price behaves in such a scenario. Next is 4 hourly time frame. Four hourly time frame is already on the upper part of the Bollinger Band, that being the case. If it takes support here, in this area and thereafter moves higher. After taking support like this and if it is moves higher, then only then the bullishness is expected to continue. Till that time, we need to wait and watch for further price action. On hourly time frame, What we can see is similar, same sort of support. This is the immediate support zone. What here also, if it is taking support in this zone and moving higher, then and only then the bullishness will continue. Otherwise, some sort of sideways to negative price action is expected on hourly time frame. 
now the euro dollar currency pair if what we can see here is that some sort of support on a monthly time frame here that 1.22 1.1200 to 1.1250 zone and also is RSI is about supposed to take support around 40. If we take the weekly time frame, what we see is that euro dollar for last consecutive four weeks, the lows are getting re rejected that being the case once it moves above this particular zone then and only then we can expect some upward movement on daily time frame same thing is that it has to close above 1.1375 to 1.1400 for an upward movement on four hourly time frame what we can see is sideways movement in between this particular zone it has to break out of this particular sideways consolidation for a particular movement possibly on the higher side on hourly time frame also what we can expect is some sort of support we need to wait for a confirmation of the support zone so overall we are expecting some sort of bottom fishing waiting for a bottom for an upward movement yet there is no confirmation we need to wait for that now dollar yen monthly chart what we see is that currently it is facing some sort of resistance this 114.00 to 115.00 on a monthly time frame seems to be providing some sort of resistance unless the monthly chart closes above this particular resistance zone we should not create long positions on a longer time frame chart on weekly what we see is some sort of resi resistance on this particular zone and uh, and the immediate support is here at 111 to 111.50 zone on daily time frame what we can see is actually lack of clarity on the daily chart it has to break out of this particular zone on the higher side this and on the lower side this then and only then we can expect some sort of trend of the movement possibly on the lower side because dollar index seems to be negative and considering that one dollar yen is expected to be negative for some more time on four hourly time frame same thing two way momentum seen on hourly hourly time frame basically it is currently taking support at 113.50 for a downward move first it has to close below this level then below this level then and only then we can think for some short positions on crude oil part the month of november was seen as a sell off in crude oil that is the brent oil and what we found is that at this particular resistance 
is respected on a monthly time frame. On weekly time frame, what we expect is that this center bend is expected to be a resistance zone for a first target of this, which is 64, 66.25 to 66.30 on daily time frame only observation is that we need to see whether on a daily time frame rsi is taking support at 40 or not if it takes support at 40 then the downward movement will be halted for some more time if not then we can expect a downward movement on this instrument. On four hourly chart, what we can expect is some sort of initial support level here. It has to break below this for the downward target. And on hourly time frame, same change from higher high, higher low to lower high, lower low patterns, and it is expected to continue for some more time. So, this much from my side. Thank you.